Naya Kim Gatwick says she's come a long way from the days when she wanted to bleach her skin. The international model now embraces her skin, and so have brands like Fenty and L'Oreal. Gatwick says this comment from a Columbia University professor is not a reflection of her beauty. She's calling his comment ignorant and hurtful. For me to do this interview with you and speak to you about it, it's shown that I'm standing up, you know, for myself. Known for her striking beauty, stunning poses, and for her determination. I was bullied before. You know, I've been, I worked so hard to build a tough skin. Naya Kim Gatwick has shattered stereotypes in the modeling industry. A Southern Sudanese woman who's posed for global beauty brands, from Fenty to L'Oreal. Encouraging everyone else to love themselves. A recent tweet from a Columbia University department chair left Gatwick stunned. It hurt. While retweeting a post about Gatwick's skin tone, the chair of Columbia University's psychiatry department wrote, quote, whether a work of art or a freak of nature, she's a beautiful sight to behold. You're degrading me. You're saying that I'm less of a human because of my skin color. You know, even though you might not mean it like that because you put beautiful in there. As soon as I read freak of nature, that's what stuck in my head. In an email to Columbia University colleagues, Dr. Jeffrey Lieberman apologized for the tweet, calling it racist and sexist. The university tells PIX11 News they suspended Lieberman from his post as chair of the psychiatry department. Lieberman has also been removed from his job as psychiatrist in chief at New York Presbyterian Hospital. He has not reached out to apologize to me. And I feel like suspension is not enough. Gatwick learned about resilience at an early age. Gatwick says her mother was pregnant with her when she walked from war torn southern Sudan to Ethiopia. Gatwick grew up in refugee camps until the age of 14 when the family moved to America. She was so focused on making it to New York City. So I could be the supermodel that I'm meant to be. Pursuing a modeling career has also meant confronting colorism. There was a time that I even considered about bleaching my skin color. There's a time that I hated my skin color. Gatwick wants to use her response to Lieberman's tweet to share a message with her nearly one million followers on social media. Our voice is the most powerful weapon we have. We did reach out directly to Dr. Lieberman. He has not yet responded to our request for a comment, but in the email he sent to some members of the Columbia University community, Lieberman said he was deeply ashamed of his words.